back to another video. This is Andrew from Andrew's Auto Freaks. Well, today, as you can see, I'm really down low on the ground because I'm going to be painting my rims. This is something I've always been wanting to do for a very long time. Finally, I found the time to do it. So today, I've decided to show you how to paint your rims, not permanently, but using uh, another type of spray can called Plastic Dip or Carless Rubber Flim, like what I have. And I'm going to do it in a matte black color. So I'm going to show you the steps to do it. It's pretty easy. If I can do it at home, so can you. The reason why I'm doing it because finally I got sick and tired because there's too many scuff marks, too many scratches on my rims and all that. So the only way I know how to do that is not to change my rims, but to paint my rims. So let's go and I'll show you what exactly you need to actually paint the rims using Plastic Dip or Carless Rubber Flame. But before that, here's a few steps that I actually did beforehand. As you can see here, I decided to make sure my ribs are clean. Therefore, I washed it and I cleaned it. So after washing it, make sure it's all dried up. And then once you're done, you can also clay your rims to make sure you remove any contaminants, any dirt. Like here, what I've done. Make sure you take your time to do the cleaning process so that the plastic dip or the carless rubber flim sticks properly. Do this step, take your time. If you need to, you can always wash rims one day, dry it overnight, and then paint it the next day. That will be the best option that you have. I'm gonna show you what you need now to actually start painting the rim. So let's go. Well guys, these are the items that I'll be using today. First and foremost, I'll introduce you to a garbage bag. Why a garbage bag? I decided to cut it into two so that this is for the brake calipers and also the drum brakes. So you don't want the plastic dip to go inside the rim and on the, uh, the brake calipers so that this you have to feed through the rim which I'll show you later how to cover up the brake calipers. A microfiber towel if you need one if let's say you get the plastic dip over some other surface of the car you can always use the cloth and wipe it off. This right here I actually scrap paper. This I've cut it out to card shapes why this is to actually slot it in between the rim and the tire so it creates the crevice to actually make sure you paint inside the rim and not get on the tire or the surface of the car so now let's go and i'll show you how to use the garbage bag and also the paper all right so what we need to do first is as you can see this plastic bag that i already cut in half that. this is so that to protect the brake calipers behind so that the plastic it doesn't go all the way behind. So you just feed it through the rim. Around. And when you're done doing this, all you have to do is pull back the plastic bag open it up on the inside and make sure you cover the calipers okay do it all around make sure there's a gap between the plastic and the rim so that when you spray the plastic dip it doesn't stick to the plastic and the rim at the same time so once you're done pushing it all the way the back making sure the edges doesn't touch the rim now I'm going to show you how to lay the cards to protect the tire and make your work easier so as for the paper first and foremost get pieces like this it's a very simple step all you have to do is slot it in between the tire and the rim So now, as the preparations are all done, we are ready to get spraying. Remember, I'm going to be doing a total of four coats of paint. 
um, at this step the first coat of paint should be only about 50% transparency don't spray too much of a thick coat just leave it very thin it will be fine leave it to dry for 15 minutes go to the second one 15 minutes again second one I mean sorry third one and then followed by the fourth one 15 minutes in between every coat of paint and when you're doing so try not to rush into it take your time go into the terraces I'll show you how to do it right now basically before you start always remember to shake the can really well before you start playing because we have a newspaper on the ground always remember before you start test spray see how it goes pick it up and just get start going to coat number three so coat number three and four you go slightly closer make sure it's a bit more thicker on the layers and basically it's putting on two coats of wet coat so that the texture when it's done it's a bit more smoother so let me do the last two coats and I'll get back to you one thing I forgot to mention earlier it's basically it takes up to one can per rib depending on the amount of coats you put on Today I'm going to be doing four, so this is would be my second can, and I've already done all four of my rims. I may go through only three cans, but it depends on how many coats you put on. So let's do the third coat, and I'll come back later after 15 minutes for the fourth coat, and then we'll see how it goes. to 15 minutes come back later for the fourth and final coat and I'm just gonna do a bit more touch up here and there and we'll come back later all right guys as you can see it is already turning out to be really awesome now it's gonna be my last and final coat as I said I was on my third can right now and this is matte black it comes in a few classes so I'm gonna be finishing it up right now with the last and final coat which is the fourth you can put fifth or sixth if you want, make it last a bit more longer. I only got enough cans for four coats. Later on, I'll just go around and I'll show you how the car looks with all black rims. And it looks like it's brand new. So let me finish up, come back before removing the plastic at the back. Wait for it to dry for at least an hour to 45 minutes. Come back, remove the plastic back at the back, make sure everything is dry. Try not to touch the paint when it's wet. And trust me, the result's gonna be worth it. So let me finish up and I'll show you. for about a good 45 minutes um, I went about five coats of paint I left it to dry about 15 minutes each and every single coat as you can see the paint the black the matte black looks amazing it came out really well patience was one thing I had to wait 15 minutes between every coat I don't want to lay the paint too thick so now I come back after 45 minutes I'm gonna remove the plastic bag from behind and 
you want to do this really slowly just make sure each and every corners there's no paint stuck in the plastic bag and it's all good so just move it slowly bit by bit don't rush you don't want to scuff the paint after all the hard work take your time roll let's go and there you go you can do this away and there you have it man it turned out so good it is awesome the scuff marks are gone somewhat it's just hidden behind all that black and i love the outcome well guys there you have it it was a really really good experience i man it turned out really well plastic dip carless rubber film paint matte black 45 minutes after the whole process of drying 15 minutes in between every coat take your time be patient and that is what you're going to get man it was amazing i love how it came out if i can do it so can you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions on how i did it you can always drop me a comment and do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video give me a thumbs up anyway guys All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If any questions, like I said, drop me a comment. Have a good day. Never look back and always look forward, guys. Take care.